So this is a design I've made in a SketchUp of the uh, table for the AUX router. And it's basically a uh, frame made out of two ends that are glued together. I put in dowels at the ends here of, on all three layers and glue. So it's a very stiff construction. This middle beam here uh, is uh, free, can go up and down in these grooves. Uh, by the force of the jack uh, as you turn the, the uh, dial. Here you have uh, a metal rod which is uh, essentially a uh, table leg uh, bought in IKEA 25mm in diameter going through the hole here and then you have the caster down here. So by turning the knob here you can expand the uh, jack and then the wheels will go down and you can move around with the table. Um, this is the uh, control box I have added here, and then uh, the um, shelf here, the little groove that you can pull it out, and then you can put the keyboard out here at the end of the table in order to operate it. This area inside here uh, is uh, meant for the uh, computer and other things, so uh, you, I've added a shelf here, and of course the tabletop. And then in order to keep this area uh, protected from excessive dust, uh, I have put on some uh, sliding doors on two sides, this and over here. And then these two sides, which will be facing a wall, I have uh, put uh, just a piece of plywood to close it fully. But the other two sides here, as you can see in a sec, uh, are open, so you can open and you can store stuff down there. So uh, this is the setup and you can find this file on the 3D warehouse. Okay, so I will be uh, cutting these uh, beams here into half. So we have some uh, good strong material for the table. Uh, I'll do that first cutting all the length and then splitting them and putting them through the router. So that's going to be a lot of noise. Yeah, so here we have all the lumber ready for uh, for splitting and uh, I just want to point out these ones here. These actually came as some packaging material where they have one of these metal bands on top. So those I got for free, but they are pretty nice with the track that I will use for the elevator. And then all the rest here will be split now. pieces uh, cut to length and I have also uh, done some of the special features here uh, put a notch in here a hole which goes only halfway through and then a hole that go all the way through and then the idea is of course that the wheel would be carried by the halfway hole and then this one would be the one that lifts up and down and basically this one is just an all a coaster and then a uh, table leg 
I bought in IKEA. It's called uh, Captia from IKEA. And then the uh, the legs are here with the different um, notches in that I have used the dado to produce. So I'm essentially ready to start uh, assembling. And I think I will do that by putting in some dowels uh, at the end and then gluing uh, most of it together. Now all the parts have been put together. Uh, I used the dowels uh, to align up everything. Um, and I've got these grooves here to uh, make the uh, cabinet doors. And it's also the same over on the other side here. And then this is the notch where the little shelf will go in for the keyboard. So here we are with the finished frame, handles in place, and all that. I'll try to show how it moves. This is the finished uh, router table. You can see uh, the uh, control box is mounted on the poles there. And uh, I can go over and demonstrate a few of the uh, features, uh, how they work in real life. Mm -hmm.